Hello and welcome to the next lesson. Well, it happened again. I lost all the process of how I did all these. So first of all, I apologize. And I'm going to explain again how I did it in this margin here so you don't miss the process. So, well, um, first we're going to apply a radial gradient. Then we'll create a black leaves base. And last, as the last time, we'll try to make a gradient with the straight lines that will be the tree trunks. I'm very sorry. I wanted to do it in the best possible way. But basically, the program failed. But well, I can only do it again because I want you to see how to do it step by step. So don't worry because I repeat it. So the next thing I did was to apply an overlay layer and then what I did was to place some more leaves and last that big spotlight so you get the idea of it being a worm's eye angle. So that's it pretty much. I'll repeat it again on the side. I don't have any other option. So. Then with a low opacity brush, similar to this one, I did the spotlight with a yellow tone. You can switch the layers blending mode to screen or something like that so it can be more brilliant. And well, I'm going to explain it again anyway, so I'm I'm so sorry, really. But I have a very hard time every time I have a problem with the screen recording program because I have to repeat it all these and I feel a bit like I'm boring you or something. So well I'll start with the illustration. I'll fast forward this so you see it's quite simple. Because it's actually, from all the illustrations I did, this one is the one that represents more simplicity when working on it. Okay, I just selected it so I can work more comfortably. So what I'm going to do is copy all the colors using the eyedropper. And as I said, the first step it's going to be doing a radial gradient. You can select it in the gradient part when you click in the circle that looks like something a bit rounder. So I don't know how to explain it, but it's the radial gradient basically. Now we'll use the brush tool to give the illustration some texture. So we enlarge the volume that we can have in our image. We can try them one by one. See, for example, the leaves. I'll change it and I'll make sure it gets into the layer below using Alt and this way whatever we draw it will go over the edge. We're going to do a lighter layer with some orange leaves. We're going to select another brush as I'm telling you with another leaf shape. Let's adjust a bit more to drawing. And well, now with the polygonal lasso, I'm filling the spaces I'm creating in order to create that trunk effect. I'm creating this in a different layer because afterwards I want to apply using the brush tool with its blending mode set to dissolve. That looks so the treetop is closer to the light, so it has to be lighter. In order to fill it, a shortcut is to hit Alt plus Delete, which fills the selection with the color selected at the time.
And well, more or less, it would look like this. We're going to put on a layer below with a black tone, a bit darker in order to do like a bed for the leaves. We're going to draw both over and below the trees layer in a uniform way. We'll look for homogeneity because what I think is one of the highlights in this lesson is the symmetry. Alternating some brushes on the way. And well, as you see, it keeps taking shape. I'm going to select it a bit and I'll use the brush so it gets a similar tone to this one. I'll put some orange stones. And the last thing we'll make is this, using the diffused edges brush and with this yellow tone in a new layer in screen mode and the result will be an effect of light coming from the top. And now it's just a matter of decorating a bit more, considering the trees and getting a result similar to this one. Well, sorry for the inconvenience and thank you for watching this lesson. See you in the next one. See you soon.